All right, everybody, today what we're going to work on is called a brush out glaze, and it's basically just a glazing technique that uh, rather than take a rag to remove the glaze and wipe it off, we're going to use a brush or a series of brushes to remove the glaze from the door. And here are several of the things that you will need to do the brush out glaze. Uh, first, you'll need some cotton rags, you need some rubber gloves. Uh, you need a brush to dust with, a scuff pad to scuff with, and you need at least three brushes. Four would be good also, but at least three separate brushes, and I've labeled them because we're going to use them in a certain order, one, two, and three. <clears throat> and what these are is just simply white china bristle brushes, and you, can, you don't have to get the expensive china bristle brushes that cost $15 or $20 a piece, just maybe a $7 or eight dollar a piece brush that you could get uh, generic at uh, a hardware store would work fine I think I paid about eight dollars a piece for these but white china bristle is going to be your best you can use the black china bristles or the polyesters but the white china bristles are going to work better for you uh, also you're going to need some glaze and what I have here is just a kind of a dark brown oil glaze you can use a water-based glaze, but uh, it's going to dry a lot faster on you and you have a lot more open time and work time if you have an oil-based glaze. So that's what this is. This is a paint spinner. We'll talk about that paintbrush spinner. We'll talk about that later. And you have some paint thinner. So, also what you're going to need is something to glaze. And here we have a door. This is just a stained door. Uh, it happens to have a finish on it, uh, but uh, I scuffed it with this uh, scuff pad which is a fine scuff pad and you just want to scuff it a little to where you have a tooth for your glaze and your top coat to stick to. So <clears throat> now what we're going to proceed to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a rag and apply some glaze to this door. So have a small piece of cotton rag, find a small piece. We're going to take and wad it up, and then we're just going to take some glaze, and we're going to wipe it into the door really good. I'm going to try to get into all the cracks, all the crevices there, and just get a good coat of glaze all over the door. It's going to take just a minute to do this. Now get your edges as well. And I like to prop it up. I got it on a box here. You could put it on a couple of gallon buckets or whatever you want to <clears throat> to put it on, just to hold it up. So now have everything coated really well with the glaze. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to take brush number one, brush number one, and we're just basically going to brush this glaze in a diagonal pattern. I'm going to go diagonal, then I'm going to take, wipe some of the glaze off, then I'm going to go diagonal the opposite way. Just like that. I want to get the glaze spread out all over the door and hit your edges a little bit and that already gives a kind of a cool look but that's not what we're the way we're going to leave it then we're going to go across the grain of the door again wipe your glaze off the brush and then we're going to go with the grain of the door basically just trying to remove some of the glaze and if you got a lot in the corners you want to get some out this would be a good opportunity with brush number one to kind of get some of that out so it's not all jammed up in the corners if you have too much glaze you will eventually have an adhesion problem okay so that's the end of brush number one I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit basically pick up brush number two and do the exact same thing I'm going to go diagonal, corner to corner, this direction, wipe it off, diagonal this way, opposite way, 
wipe your brush off. You're gonna go across the grain, wipe it off, and then you're gonna go with the grain and remove some more glaze. And hit your edges, and you might want to just go down a little bit on your edges. And wipe your brush off and that's basically the end of brush number two. And we're gonna take brush number three. You guessed it, the exact same thing. Diagonal, diagonal again. Across the grain. And with the grain. And finish up with your edges. And if you want to, on your last pass, go with the grain on your edges, that's probably a good idea. And that's basically what you do for a brush out glaze. Now, if you would like a little extra glaze, maybe in certain spots, you can take brush number one, which has a little wet glaze on it. You can actually just add a little glaze, just kind of hit it on the edges or anywhere else that you might want some more glaze that you might want a little extra build up just to give it a little bit more of a smoky look on the edges and then once you do that you take your number three brush and just kind of go back and soften everything up and that's basically how you do a brush out glaze and there's your finished product now, just for emphasis, show a little bit different look, we're going to try a painted door. And this is a, a gray painted door, so it's kind of dark, but it still should show up fairly well with the glaze. So, I scuffed this already with the fine scuff pad. Basically, do the same thing all over again. We're going to wipe the glaze on sure we get plenty of glaze get the whole thing covered get in all the different grooves get our edges done there now obviously when you get done finished with this you're going to probably have some glaze on the back of the door and you can either choose to after the front's dry, glaze the back, or what most people do is just take a, a cloth with some paint thinner and wipe it off the back after the front's dry. But however you want to proceed with that is fine. We're going to start back again. Brush number one. I'm going to go diagonally. One direction. Clean it off. Diagonally. Again, clean your brush off, go across the grain, clean it off, and go with the grain. And then you want to hit your edges, and I'm going in a downward motion when I do the edges, first couple of times. And make sure I get them all covered. Okay. And that's that's basically one. That's brush number one. When you get brush number two, same procedure, diagonal. I'm gonna go diagonally again, clean it off, cross the grain. And then with the grain. That's going to be brush number two. Brush number three. Diagonal. the grain and then with
hit the green. your edges and then just give it a good look what you're gonna want to do on your last pass over here so I'm gonna go follow the grain on these styles here and then follow the grain on these rails so I can kind of clean it up because you are going to have some brush marks and you want them going in the proper direction there. Let's go back over that a little bit. And, and once again, let's do this inside here a little bit. We want to kind of clean that up a little bit. And you can you can take off as much glaze as you want. You can Leave a little extra on there in certain places if you want it to look a little bit more darker in some places. And if you mess the whole thing up, you can just get glaze and just re-wipe the glaze on and start all over again. It'll reactivate it. And I'm going to take this number one brush. It's got a little glaze on it. I'm just going to kind of add a little on the edges here. Because I want to just make it a little bit more darker on the edges. Just going to kind of beat it down a little like that on the edges. Okay. Maybe beat it a little bit extra on this piece of applied molding here. Add a little extra with this brush that has my first brush. Okay. Then I can take my dryer brush. Just kind of go back over it, kind of smooth that out. You can keep doing that for a while. Eventually this is going to dry on you and you won't be able to work with it anymore. But for the meantime, you can work with it a little and brush it out. And if you decide that's not enough and you want to add a little more, probably still got a little work time in it. You can also do this kind of a thing and add a little more to it. You want to just add a little more in some darker places. You can pound some on there. Make it a little darker. And then take your dryer brush. Just kind of go back over it a little bit. And smooth it out. And that's basically the long and the short of your brush out glazed door. And you're going to have to put a top coat on that of some type. And you can use a Minwax polyacrylic polyurethane. Uh, if you're a professional and you want to use uh, some type of a spray lacquer, you can do that. Or a spray conversion varnish. Whatever you happen to use, you just have to let your glaze dry really good. Overnight is better. Uh, that way you make sure you're dried all in the grooves and everything. But uh, uh, basically you're ready to go with a top coat. And uh, what you probably want to do after your brushes get really saturated with glaze is you're going to want to clean them out because your number one brush is going to be wet if you have a lot of doors to do you're going to want to clean them so good way to do that is if you have a bucket or I just happen to have a piece of Tupperware here but you can take some paint thinner and get this cleaned out really good and this is a if you're doing a lot of doors you really need one of these brush spinners basically you put that in here and if you have a five gallon bucket or a trash can basically spin that that gets all the glaze out of your brush and your brush is nice and dry and your number one brush is all ready to go again and you can do that with all your brushes and clean them out and you're ready to go. So, happy glazing.